Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. After waiting for quite some time for an announcement on when The Bad Batch will appear, Disney has finally shared their release date for the series and some other information, most of which was already known. Per Disney.com, The Bad Batch will release on May 4th of this year, a day after my birthday, and on Star Wars Day. Additionally, the second episode will premiere on Friday, May 7th, and subsequent episodes will premiere on Fridays. Other than that, there wasn't much else provided in the way of new announcements. We still don't know how many episodes will be released for the first season, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere between 10 to 15 I'd say. I'd love if we got something like 20 or 22 episodes, but I'm expecting fewer episodes than that. We know that the series will follow our homies from Clone Force 99, also known as the Bad Batch, following the aftermath of Order 66 and the fall of the Republic as they traverse the galaxy as mercenaries. We last saw the Bad Batch in Season 7 of the Clone Wars, following the conclusion of the Bad Batch arc as they were heading out on their next mission with our homeboy Echo. We still don't know if our homeboy participated in Order 66, so that's something I'm hoping we learn more about in the series. Additionally, we know characters such as Fennec Shand will appear in the series at some point, so I'm hoping we're going to get to see some beloved bounty hunters, villains, and maybe even some heroes of the Star Wars galaxy. There's a ton of possibilities for this series and where we might see the story go. Furthermore, we will probably get more insight into the early days of the Rise of the Empire, and I could totally see Vader and maybe even some of the Inquisitors finding their way into the series with which would be so damn dope. Is it possible that the Empire could enlist the Bad Batch's services to help hunt down Jedi? Could be a possibility if they've got their inhibitor chips and didn't remove them. How insane would that be? The potential here for this show is great and I think there's a ton of room for some really cool storylines and cameos to be had. Plus, the fact that I get to celebrate Star Wars Day by watching a brand new Star Wars show will be so awesome. I'm sure we'll be getting more information on the series in the coming days and weeks, but at least we know we can start getting ready for this new series to drop in a little more than two months from now. So yeah, not a ton of brand new information on the Bad Batch, but at least we now have a premiere date to look forward to. I'll be dropping a video in the near future on some possible characters that we could see in the Bad Batch, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to celebrate Star Wars Day with some Bad Batch? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.